When a nucleus undergoes beta decay, it will lose a neutron but gain a proton. So nuclei that undergo beta decay usually have a lot more neutrons than protons. And a beta particle is simply a free electron. So a beta particle carries a negative charge in the same way as an electron. Within the nucleus, a neutron, which is now positively charged, becomes a proton. But you don't need to understand how the neutron changes into a proton for your exams. So how exactly does this change the nucleus? Well, this means the mass number will not change, but the atomic number will increase by one. So remember in atomic notation, A is the mass number, which is the number of protons and the number of neutrons added together. And Z is the atomic number, which is just the number of protons. And X represents the element. We can represent beta decay with a nuclear equation, which is similar to a chemical equation. We represent the beta particle here as an electron, which has no mass and a negative charge. Y represents the new nucleus, and it's a different element to X as the number of protons has changed. The mass number has not changed as no particles have been added or taken away from the nucleus. They've only changed from a neutron to a proton. We then add one to the atomic number as there's one additional proton. We can check the equation is correct by seeing if A and Z are the same on both sides of the equation. You can see why the atomic number of the electron must be minus one to balance out the additional proton. Let's have a look at an example of beta decay. An unstable cobalt-60 nucleus, CO, initially has 27 protons and 33 neutrons. The nucleus then undergoes beta decay to become a nickel Ni nucleus. Write a nuclear equation to represent this decay. The identity of the final nucleus is given to you as you aren't expected to refer to a periodic table in physics exams, but you should show your working to make sure the atomic and the mass numbers of the nucleus are correct. So for step one, we want to write out cobalt-60 in atomic notation. So we have cobalt, which has a mass number of 60, which is the total number of protons and neutrons, and an atomic number of 27. For step two, all we need to do is add one to the atomic number. So that's 27 plus one gives us 28 protons. For step three, we want to deduce the atomic notation for the nickel nucleus and write the full nuclear equation. So we start with a cobalt-60 nucleus, which emits a beta particle, represented as an electron with no mass and a charge of minus one, plus nickel, which has a mass number of 60 and an atomic number of 28. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.